What shaken Chewy Nation Chewbacca? Let me hear back with another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video, and today we're gonna talk about how to beat the gauntlet the quickest, the fastest, the most efficient, the best plays to use on offense and defense. This will translate well to solo battles as well. If you've seen that, obviously not quite the same thing, but some of the same stuff as well. If you've seen my video on the how to get that best score on solo battles, some of that stuff will repeat in this video. If this helps you out. A like would be appreciated. Thank you guys so much for the support. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start with the passing ladder. Uh, we'll go ahead and just do this pass for a touchdown from 90 yards out. Now, there's also one that's 99 yards out. So either one, I think you just have to do it in one play. So it's basically the same solo. Uh, you just if A one play touchdown from 90 is the same really as a one play touchdown from 99. Uh, we'll do this one as the very first sequence, so we'll see if we're able to, you know, show you some stuff that maybe you didn't know or, you know, is passing, so you probably have some plays in your back pocket that you use quite well. I am in the Minnesota Vikings playbook. That's my uh, playbook because for solos, for solos because of the running plays. You can switch, obviously, playbooks in between if you're doing passing ones and rushing ones, but I just stay in the Vikings. I'll make it work because it's nice just to be in one playbook for solos. So the Vikings playbook it is, and you can do a lot of different things. You can just run like four verticals and try to beat up the seam or just lob it up to a fast wide receiver like Tyreek Hill, and eventually you're going to get a touchdown, right? That's not terrible. Or you can run one play touchdowns and catch them in whatever coverage it works. I'm going to actually try the latter. I'm going to run a play called Bunch Trail out of Gun Bunch. Very popular play last year. Don't, not as popular this year. Gun Munch is just not as popular. But of course, you can run any one play touchdown that you like. I'm going to run this one. It's super good against a lot of coverages. Uh, the post route is going to beat cover two right in the middle. It's going to be super easy. If you put this guy on a curl, you're going to beat cover fours. Uh, Hill brings down like cover three, so you might be able to even burn them like, in cover threes. It can just burn a lot of coverages. Uh, so it is really good. And you see how open that post route is. If you have... Of course, Odell. How does Odell drop that? If you have a faster wide receiver than Odell, I'm trying to do it with somebody who's just good speed because I know not everybody has mega teams. Uh, but if you have somebody faster than Odell, I would recommend putting them right in that spot. If you're going to run this, again, it's it's a nice one-play touchdown. If you're looking for you know one-play touchdowns in general, uh, this is pretty good. Uh, if you want, uh, let's go ahead and take Odell over. Where are we at? Odell we can motion him over and this will just help against cover threes a little bit uh, we'll see what they're in here uh, looks like some sort of, look look how open that is do you see that <laughs> Odell one play uh, Tart is going to not catch him so uh, I do believe that the the cover the cover four beater is still really good uh, I think you can beat it versus cover three especially good against cover two. Overall, it's just a great one-play touchdown. I'm going to show it to you again uh, without even editing. Wait, I can't even replay it? Okay, we'll show it again when we get to the the other gauntlet. We have to pass for a 99-yard, and you'll see, uh, I guess, a different coverage. We'll showcase another coverage in that. So that was pretty easy. That was wide open. Bunch trail or for verticals, whatever you want to run. It's good. It's good. All right, next up, we have the rush for a touchdown, and these... I'm sorry, this is the best run in the game. Even if, if some people say it's not like if you you just gotta I mean keep trying it if it's not working. It's it's that it is that good. Wide receiver at quarterback, all you do is use the right stick, go to Wildcat. This is only in the Vikings. Uh wide receiver at quarterback. Tyreek Hill is my wide receiver one. If or you could put your wide receiver two in there. And this is the run that it is. Now you could actually sub in sharp if you're having problems with uh blocking there. You can sub him in for an offensive lineman, I believe. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you. This is the best run in the game. Please block and show me how good it is. Tyreek Hill. Look, you just, be careful. And we're going to show this again on the 99 one. So we'll show that again how it works. Be careful. Don't just span, don't just hold on the right trigger. If you're saying my guy's going too slow, don't just hold on to it. If you have, you know, somebody like Odell. I did this with Odell on the, the PlayStation. You don't need Tyreek Hill. Obviously, it makes it easier if you have Tyreek Hill or somebody with good speed, uh, with good juke as well. In case somebody's coming, you can juke them out. Of course, but do not, do not just hold on right trigger the whole time. And that might be why you're going mega slow and you're like, my guy won't move. Do not. And if it doesn't work, just do it again. You practice it, you'll get really good with the stick. There, I didn't push the right trigger at all. You see, I stayed on my feet. 
and then I was able to, you know, easily burn them. I think, you know, even Odell would have scored there. It wasn't like I, that was pretty easy. Got outside, touchdown. We'll, sh we'll see it again later on in the video. Next up is the defensive ladder. I actually think the, the last one here is not the hardest. And, and you might disagree, really, because you do not have to allow, you can't allow a touchdown on these, on a lot of these. I think those are generally actually kind of easy. It's just three downs. You got to stop them and then kick a field goal. You can get extra coins if you block it or get them to turn the ball over. But overall, I don't think it's that hard. I think the hardest one is actually the 30 yards and they you can't allow any points because if they if you just stop them, if you, they get a few yards, they're going to kick a field goal. You need to back them up or get a turnover. So I think this is the best way to showcase the defense and how it works. So let's go ahead and show you my defense on these solos. All right, do not allow any points from 30 yards out. Okay, now if you watch my solo battle video, you know that I like mid blitz. Some people don't like it. It's double A gap, mid blitz, because they say they get absolutely torn apart. Remember, you only need really like one sack, and then you can run different defense if you want. I prefer mid blitz like all day, but uh, again, you just kind of bring people, kind of line them up, makes it play a little bit better, and I'm going to actually manual blitz there. I mean, play action, guaranteed sack. Now you're like, well, that was that was of course lucky, but again, you only have to stop them once, right? Like this is not like this is not like solo battles where you like you have to keep stopping them every single drive. For you only have to do this once. Now I will say what I like to do is I actually like to user this guy. Now I'm kind of getting used to it, and if they throw a slant here, it's really easy to pick off. The CPU doesn't. They think you're blitzing. If they throw it like they will like always throw it to the slant on that because slants obviously beat man coverage so i like to actually user shazier and i don't know if that's crazy or whoever your user is and you could you could, if you have time you can line people up but what will happen is do you see that they threw it right at me they will throw it right at you uh if you have a decent user I, you kind of have to disengage i think you need to keep the blitz that way they they think that you're not in a zone or anything but keep that blitz going uh, you might be able to like man somebody up or be in some sort of zone, but for me, I'm okay with keeping that blitz. It seems to work really well. That was super, super easy. I'll show it one more time because I don't think there's much on defense uh, in this video. If it wait, just kidding, it might not let me. Let me restart it. Let me restart it. No, oh, I just gotta continue. Okay, well, I think that worked pretty well. There was the restart button. All right, next up is the kicking. I'm gonna show you how to kick a field goal. No, I'm not passing countdown. Uh, we will show this again uh, because this is, I mean, this is, I think, a really, again, we'll, we'll show the defense as well. We're going to we're gonna show you how the mid blitz works uh, on all of these, the hardest ones. So 99-yard touchdown, 90-yard, whatever the last one. It's basically the same thing. I, I'm going to run bunch trail because I think one-play touchdowns in general are, are really good to have in your arsenal. Good to see how they work. And just like for head to head, not just for solos. That way you can make sure if people are just going to run stock defenses, like if they're just going to run stock cover four, if you have a cover four one play touchdown against them, they're not going to run stock cover four. They're going to have to mess with their coverage a little bit. They're going to have to change it. They're going to have to move that quarter into a different zone. And then you're making them do stuff that they don't want to do. So generally, I think having one play touchdowns uh, are good to have. This year, not nearly as important, but I still think it's nice to have. So we're going to have a 99 yard touchdown. You can, of course, run just four verticals and just burn them if you can, if you got a Tyreek Hill. Or... It's not a terrible idea. Uh, but if you're not having too much success with that and you're looking for something a little more tasty, uh, they are pressing here, so I don't think this is the best idea. I would probably just streak them here. But let's see if we can still make it work. Uh, so we'll go ahead and motion him over. We put him on a curl, the tight end, and he's not pressing anymore. So let's see if we can get some freedom. Look at that. Look at X. Come on. Go. If that's John Ross... Of course you drop it. But you see, that's really good for head-to-head, -to -head, by the way, too. Uh, that was against a cover three. Uh, that is really, really good. I like I like motion him over because they they will run out of space. What they'll do is they'll finish their route, and they'll just kind of stay there, and then they'll come back to you. And you don't want that when you're going for a one-play touchdown, right? You want them to keep going. So it's really good to motion him over. I find that to be very good. So we'll try that again. Motion him over. Get that press to back off there, and we'll see if we can get this open. We have enough time. We have enough time. Oh my goodness. And he's going to get caught. Who just caught Boye? You, he caught Odell Beckham Jr. Put Tyreek there. Put John Ross there. It's going to be a touchdown. I'm not going to stop until I get this touchdown. I'm not going to be like, yeah, you can do it. I'm going to do it too, even with a bat. I should put Tyreek there and just be like, look how good I am. But I'm not going to do it uh, because 
You know, I know somebody will say, and I'm already doing that with runs. Tyreek is just so good. If you, can, if you don't have Tyreek Hill, you should get Tyreek Hill. He's good. I'll motion him over. Uh, we'll see what they do here. Look out. Look at this. I, I almost didn't even throw it in time because... <laughs> did you see how naked that was? That's a super good one-play touchdown. Guys, if you have Bunch Trail, check if you have it in your playbook. You don't have to motion him over. It just makes it a little bit easier when you're running it. They didn't. We didn't even see cover two against that. If they run cover two, wide open in the middle of the field. Go, run, forever. Super easy. Touchdown. Bunch trail. I like it if you're in the Vikings. If you're not, run verticals. Run whatever one play touchdowns you got. Cover three. They almost always come out in cover three. Run a cover three, one play touchdown. Whatever you got. Super good. That's what I run. You can run what you like. All right, we're going to run Wildcat. Wildcat wide receiver two at quarterback. That is Odell Beckham Jr. I'm not going to run Tyreek because I know not everybody has him. Even though it would make it easier... I'm going to show you that you don't need him. Uh, this is like 88 speed on Odell. Look at that. Do you see? Like, this is why this is so good. And we'll see if he's able to catch me. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Whoop. And that's why it's nice to have a nice juke. Because <laughs> if you have Odell, he's not too bad. You could even get Ted Ginn in there. Because uh, he's got 87 speed. He's only like, what, like 40K, 50K. So you don't even need to have necessarily Tyreek Hill or Odell Beckham, Diamond Odell. Uh, Ted Ginn Jr. is going to do well there. I like to have that juke because just in case something like that happens, uh, if you have Tyreek, it really doesn't matter because you're probably going to outrun him anyway. But sometimes you will need to fake him out. And I like the juke because you can juke out the CPU every single time. If you have the like highest threshold, whatever, is it like 90, 91, 90? I'm not sure. 89, 88, something around there. Uh, but it seems to work pretty well with Tyreek and Odell. So whatever their, their, their juke is, I would say that's good enough. Ted Ginn would also work. We get that super easy. Guys, if you're not if you're not a believer in the Wildcat in the Vikings playbook, get, you need to get on board, okay? The train is leaving the station. Not really. It's still here. It's going to stay here. Hopefully EA doesn't do anything to change it more. I know people think they nerfed it, but it's, it's, it's here. Use it. Use it. All right, rushing countdown done. Uh, scoring countdown. Ooh, the last one. 13 points in eight plays. So we're going to see some more defense. If you want to see more defense... It's coming. Here it comes. 13 points in eight plays. Now, the great thing is the first one is you got the ball, so that's nice. That would make it really tough if you don't. I'm just going to run a normal. So say you don't like bunch trail and you're like, that play's dumb and I'm terrible at it. Just run a normal four verticals. A lot of times you can get that slot guy to get a touchdown here. Maybe the outside guy. Uh, I'll block my running back, give me a little extra time, and we'll see if we can go ahead and deliver a dot here. Uh, maybe we'll just throw it to A. We'll see if that will get open. Touchdown to the tight end, Mr. Sharp. That wasn't too bad. Uh, if, again, if you don't score on the first play, especially on this one, I would just restart it because you need you might need every single play uh, to beat this. Uh, what's really nice is you can always, you get the ball at the beginning, like I said, so you can always, re, if you don't get on the first play, restart it. It's not really that big a deal. It's not really losing much time. So we get that. Uh, one thing I would recommend, I would, if I was you, I would kick it short. And I like to do this even on head-to-head because -head I hate giving up touchdowns. Kick it short to the fullback over here. And let's see if we can get a hit stick on him. Because if you get a hit stick here, you might get them to fumble. They don't cover the ball like they do on head-to-head. -head. Oh, wow, I messed up. Well, okay. I'm just saying it's a nice idea because that if you get a, a hit stick there, you might be able to you know jar that ball loose and actually a good chance of jarring that ball loose. And then this solo is like super easy if you get a fumble there. Uh, but we're going to run mid-blitz again. I would recommend, again, kind of lining them up if you have time. If not... Not too big a deal. Um, it looks like they're going to run it, so I'll just use your cam in this formation. Super easy. Cam Chancellor. Kind of on the Cam Chancellor. I didn't get the, the extra goal, but unless you're really... I mean, you need to cause a turnover if you want that, but I kind of like Cam. I like the flashback Cam. Okay, line them up. Again, I'm telling you guys right now. User, one of your middle linebackers. Come on, please. Don't, don't run the ball. That's not fun. All right, they ran the ball. Well... This next one, okay? Here we go. Chase or nice. Tackle for loss. I need those for objectives. All right, we'll go ahead and just line these guys up. Come on, they're going to throw it to me. Watch this. Wait, watch. Let's go! I need that! Yes! Guys, I've, I got the glitch. If, you got, if you're not a mid-blitz believer, are you yet? Are you yet? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Dr. Disrespect, trickle in. This, we're ready. We're ready. Join 
the party of mid blitz. You need to get, it's so easy. They, if they have anything underneath, they will always throw it. If they have a slant or a zig or whatever like that, they always throw it. You gotta be ready, you gotta be quick. You gotta have the quick reflexes, but that was awesome. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Uh, and now we'll go ahead, I haven't started these yet, We'll go ahead and throw into one of these gauntlet games and just kind of show you a, a last few things uh, to put it all kind of together uh, to wrap it up. So you've seen the mid blitz. You've seen how awesome that is. You've seen the Wildcat. I'm telling you guys, Wildcat, get on board if you don't already. Get Tyreek Hill if you haven't. Use your power-up pass. Use all your power-up passes. He is the biggest game changer in all of Mutt. Make your solos easier. Make head-to-head -head easier. He's he's a difference maker. Maybe not your 88 to 89 if you want to use that on Jalen Ramsey. Okay. But Tyreek Hill, get on the board. Get on board with Tyreek Hill. If nothing else, get his core elite. Use the power pass if you need to. Whatever it is. Tyreek Hill, mid blitz. Use it the middle linebacker. I am so on board with this now. I'm having so much fun using it because I get those picks like that. I just got to enter. I, I, that's my third defense touchdown with Shazier. I haven't had him that long. I need that for uh, those 250,000 coins. So that's pretty cool. All right. This one, you do start with the ball. I, I personally would recommend, uh, this is my opinion, is... You only have to score 14 on this one. Just run the clock out. Score a touchdown before half. You can score another one in the second half. You know, it's super, you know, you don't have to rush down the field. Like, it, there's really no reason to, especially on these gauntlet ones where you, you don't want to allow any, like, points or anything, um, especially, like, on the last ones. You want to make sure, you you want to be very efficient, but you also don't want to, you obviously got to make sure you, you get what you need to get done. Uh, but we'll go ahead and show you. Look how, I mean, this is so good. Okay, I could definitely hit B here, but I'm going to see if I can hit X. If that's uh, did he catch that? Nice bunch trail, man. I love that play. Uh, you don't if you run if you know it's a uh, Tampa two. I would recommend actually not motioning him over. You see that's against cover three. I'm telling you guys, this play is glitchy. Um, if it is against cover two, I would recommend keeping him over there. If you know it's a cover two, uh, this one is not cover two. Uh, but again, you could honestly just hit A there. I could have hit B. Uh, you don't really. I'm just showing. This is almost like an online like this is like almost like a a playbook. What is that? Ebook. On Bunch Trail or Gun Bunch in general. Gun Bunch is, is still really good, guys. Uh, but yeah, this is the basic setup. I'm going to go ahead and score a touchdown here, hopefully. Hit, hit X. Maybe not. Yeah, we'll hit X. Look at that. Hello. Touchdown. So easy. Was that, was that again? I wasn't really paying attention. Was that Tampa 2 there? Just to, We haven't seen it yet against Tampa 2. Did you see how naked that was in the middle? If you motion over the guy, it's a little bit... It's not as naked in the middle. You get The linebacker a lot of times will play it with the mid-read. And so you're going to have to lead him upfield. And you can definitely do it if you have like a Tyree Kill or John Ross. You can definitely burn him. But the motion is actually a little counterproductive, we'll say, um, there. Uh, but generally, motion's fine uh, against cover three, cover four. Maybe not so much in cover four. I really just cover three. But I feel like the, the, I feel like the, oh, let's get a big hit. Dylan Cole, there you go. I feel like the CPU runs cover three way more than any other coverage. But I could be wrong there. I don't know, but let's go ahead and get into mid blitz. Come on, let's. let's it, it, we really can't top what happened before, but let's try. All right, we'll go ahead and just line these guys up. We'll bring out Cam. Please, please, don't run the ball. That's not fun. Dang it, dang it. Look how good. See, people don't believe. Why do people not believe in the mid blitz? I know they're like, well, they just throw slants. They they burn me, but I don't know. I still think it's so much fun. I personally, I have a lot of fun doing it. Oh crap. Right, we'll just use your, we'll use your Tyron Matthew. That works. They ran the ball anyway. We didn't really set up our defense at all, but that's okay. Look at that. They're not doing anything. They've lost five yards already. Believe in the mid blitz. All right, line these guys up. We got Gronk. Cam's not okay. Come on, please throw it to me. You guys think they're gonna throw it to me? They're gonna get a delay a game. You, you, not really smart there, Andy Reid. You gotta get that play in sooner. Delay a game. Give me my five yards. Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Overrated. Just kidding. He's very good. All right. Let's line those guys up. Line those guys up. You can pass commit if you want. They're going to throw a... I'm going to lurk it again. Watch this. Third and 20. Come on. Come on, baby. Okay. Easy sack. Man, I'm so ready. Uh, but you guys see it. I mean, that... To me, I love mid blitz. If you got a good team, it's obviously easier. If you don't have a good team, you're like, it's not as good. Uh, find, you know, there's a lot of good defenses out there. You can run like sort of like blitzes if you want. Uh, just make sure your coverage is decent because the CPU will find any little hole. Uh, but 
mid block. I, I, I have so much fun doing it because the CV is so, they throw it to you like all the time. So anyways, that is my tutorial on how to beat the gauntlet. But the basic synopsis of everything that I said is on rushing Wildcat. Again, it's only in the Vikings playbook as far as I know. Do the package at wide receiver at quarterback or wide receiver two, whichever one is your fastest, basically. Uh, or maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be your fastest. You might want to put Ted Ginn there because it's spin and juke and stuff like that. Uh, but really, if you have Tyreek Hill, he should be there. If you have Ted Ginn, if that's your best, put him out there. John Ross doesn't really have any moves. He's fine, but I, I don't really necessarily... I would rather have like an Odell there if you could. But overall, John Ross could be fine as well. You only need to work once. Passing, whatever you want. Bunch trail is fine. Four verticals is fine. There's a lot of good one-play touchdowns out there. I just want to show you a nice little one in there for pretty much any coverage. They're in cover three, motion the guy over. If they're not in cover three, if you know they're not... You can keep him over there. Cover two is super easy. One play touchdown. It is it is a good play. But overall, I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was informative. I hope it was helpful. If it was, a like would be appreciated. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything after all these things that I've said, all these words that I've said. Thank you guys so much for the support. Absolutely incredible. That's all I got. Chewbacca Lemma.